Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be showing you how you can create and manage different profiles for different controllers in order to solve some common problems that you might have with controlling different types of planes. Let's get started. So I just go ahead and uh, climb inside this lovely DC-6 here. I'm ready to go, I've got my controls all programmed and everything, and I'm ready to get this thing started. I reach down here and I grab onto my right throttle, and I push my right throttle- Oh, 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 oh no! Oh no, look at that. It's pushing engine number two and engine number four. Oh shoot, let me push my uh, left throttle. Oh, 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 that doesn't help me at all. Now you're probably going, wait, why is that? Why, uh, if you push both throttles, it looks okay. Why is it Why is it doing this thing here? And that's because of the way that I initially programmed the axes on my controller. What I did, what many people do, if you have a split throttle, is you design axis one here to be this one, and you design axis two to be this one. Now, depending on the individual aircraft that you're flying, the 747, for example, is going to do this differently, that might result in having different throttles connected to different axes, which can give you all sorts of different problems. Now, of course, you could hit escape. You can go over to your controls options, make your way over to your individual unit. Now, we're looking at the VPC throttle right here. We can come down to our actual power management, and we could, of course, come here and reprogram all these axes independently. You can actually see exactly how they're designed. Now, that's a pain in the butt. Now, the reason why is because the moment I start changing these, I've now messed up all my other aircraft that I have. So there's got to be a better way. And the answer is there is a better way. If you make your way to the bottom of the screen, you're going to see a thing that says Open Preset Manager. If you click that button, you're going to have some options to create a new one, to duplicate, rename, clear all, don't do that, reset to default, and delete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this one. We'll just give it a quick little name here. We'll say DC6 and or uh, 747. So now if I press OK, this gives us the ability. By the way, you're going to want to shut off a sign. It's going to make you insane here. Actually, we can set this to essentials. I think that's simpler. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to reprogram these axes so that they make a little bit more sense for what we're actually going to do. So now I want axis 1 and 2 to be on the left now. So 1 is already set fine. So I'm going to come over to here. This one, I'm going to click right here. I'm going to go ahead and move that. It's going to get grumpy. Just say validate. It's not going to get too bad. So now if I push my left one forward, you can see that everything is freaking out here. And then the reason everybody's freaking out is because of the way that it just configured it. So I'm going to grab this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and clear the input. Click here. Push that one. It's going to yell at me. I'm going to press validate. Don't worry about it too much. Click on this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and clear my axis. Click here. Go ahead and crank that and press validate. I'm going to come over here to my throttle 2 axis. I'm going to go ahead and click clear. Click here. Go ahead and jam that one up forward. And then, of course, I'm going to grab my standard axis, which I believe I've already got set. Click here. Clear it. Oh, I can go ahead and push it just like that. Validate. So now what I've done is I've actually programmed my two axes differently. So they're actually going to be different axes that we have. Now, here's the problem you got to watch out for. You're going to notice these both are Y and these both are X. That's what you want it to be. So I'm going to press Apply and Save. Hit go back. Hit Resume. Now, I'm going to push my left forward. Ha ha! Look at that! And now I'm going to push my right throttle forward. And you can see now that these are completely split. Now, you're not just limited to doing that with axes. You can literally program every single button you see in this entire cabin with a different control profile for different types of aircraft, for different types of flight patterns. Now, this is super useful for me because just, a, just like that kind of a thing. And now our engines are split in a nice and easy to control sort of a manner. Now, if I want to go back to my original, I can go back up to my controls options and watch how quick this is. I can just sneak up here. I can click right here and actually go back to my different ones. Like if I wanted to do my default, press apply and save, go back. Now, if I push, you can see I've got my goofy arrangement once more. Enjoy.